How'd Sam already go this morning? She was good. Uh, she worked over half mile, um, worked with a nice horse and uh, worked good. Craig was really happy with her. She had a couple of trials and um, I think she's fit enough to run really well first up, really happy with her and um, I think you'll see a pretty good, um, pretty good showing on Saturday. Is it all, she's heading towards the Golden Roses preparation? I think so, yeah. I mean, yeah, the spring is full of options, isn't it? But uh, yeah. all I say there is, the, um, you know, in a month's time, in four weeks from Saturday, you've got a million dollar group one um, and... Who's to say what's going to come out of the woodwork in Sydney? That's fine. But, um, look, she's going really well. She's sound. And uh, we run here and then two weeks and then um, she goes to Sydney and runs in the Golden Rose, 1,400 metre group one. And uh, um, I think she run fantastic. So you sort of uh, see from the 1,400 metres how she goes there and make a decision for the rest of her preparation as to whether she goes on to races like the yeah, 1,000 Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I think we've got about a month between the Golden Rose and the um, 1,000 Guineas, so uh, the 1,400 metres will be a good indicator, uh, indication and, uh, you know, it'll give, us a, um, it'll give us a nice guide. So Heart of Dreams is down, nominated for the PB Lawrence. Has he got over the little setback he had a couple yeah, of Yeah, look, ago? he's fine. He's just got a bit of a cold and he had a bit of mucus, so uh, I didn't want to risk him. I don't know, um, first up after such a long time, whether he's, uh, how competitive he'll be. Look, he, he, he'll stick his head out and he'll try and he's uh, probably going to you know, run in the thick end of the prize money, as he always does. Um, but I haven't specifically uh, got him jazzed up to do anything too brave first up. You know, He's uh, just getting back to the races, safe and sound and see him run well and we'll all be happy. So he's, he'll just follow the weight for age path and one run at a time for him this spring? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, look, he, I don't know, we, we sort of get over Saturday, but uh, that's about him, yeah. And what about Instinction? He, I saw he nominated for the Saturday. Will he yeah, run in the yeah, regular role? Yeah, he will. Um, he'll run there and then a couple of weeks' time uh, he might go down the straight. Um, but, you know, look, he's a four-year-old bull now and he's a very athletic horse. Uh, he's actually trialling at Cranbourne and, um, you know, nice day out in the public for him uh, this morning. But um, he'll, be, he'll be OK. Look, there's going to be improvement in him. He trialled here last Tuesday and had a massive big blow um, as his first trial. So he might be a bit underdone, but uh, it be a nice race to kick him off and he needs, he needs something to do, you know. He's, he's got a... Yeah. Uh, Running around the stable, looking for something to do. What about the uh, new horse at the stable? Remember how she's not yeah. for three races. Are you leaning towards one, uh, one look, in particular? We'll, look, we'll probably go the fourteen hundred metres, uh, the fillies and mares, and the easiest option, and uh, see if we can get some petrol money for the Kiwis for the trip. Um, she is a nice mare. I just think the um, Regal Roller or the other race, the um, Cockrum. If they run fast time, they might just be a bit slick for her. You know, I see her 1,200 metre times in New Zealand uh, weren't real fast. Um, so we're thinking 1,400 metres and possibly a mile, um, but really happy with her and expect a, expect a pretty good account. What can you tell us about her? What, what sort of uh, races are you looking at for her um, this spring? It, look, I don't know if she's Group 1 sort of class, like my classic and stuff like that, but um, if she can get up... I want to run her in all the black type races, um, but we'll just kick her off in the 1400 and see if she can't sort of run the first three there and get a guide and then uh, move on from there.